Run away! Ah. What's up guys? Royale with Cheese here and welcome to a special instructional video about Arc Aberration. That's right, today we're going to talk all about glowing shoulder pets. I'm going to show you the four types of shoulder pets. This is a feather light right here. I'm going to show you how to turn them on and off without taking them off your shoulder. I'm going to show you where they spawn, and I'm going to show you how to tame them. So if you guys like this video, please do me a favor, hit that like button, and for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. All right, let's have some fun. And we're back! Okay, I wanted to show you guys how to get the kibble for these uh, glowing shoulder pets. Now that's it right behind me. That's the plant species Z seed. I mean plant, excuse me. Um, so now I'm just going to clear out some of these mushrooms so that I can get close to the thing. You can use your sickle on mushrooms if you didn't know. You can harvest mushrooms with a sickle. You just get up to this guy and you just kind of hang out and watch him and he'll do this little movement and shoot out a seed. So we just got to wait for him to shoot out a seed and we'll grab that and that's going to be our kibble. Oh, there it goes. See, there it goes. It shoots it out. This is what it looks like on the ground. Plant species Z seed. And you just pick that up. So if you want to tame like a high level one, it depends on the taming rates in your server and everything like that. But you want to hang out here for a while until you have a few of those. And plant, make sure you have plenty to tame whatever kind of uh, shoulder mount you're looking for. And there you go. Now we got kibble. Let's go see if we can find some guys to tame. And we're back! Okay, the first guy we're going to talk about today is a bulb dog, which we got right here. We found one. Um, these guys you can find all over the easiest areas. I say easiest, but I mean, we all know aberration's pretty hard, but the easiest areas of the map. Now, they eat these. You can feed them these aquatic mushrooms, but the kibble for all of these glowing shoulder pets is actually the plant species Z seeds. Now, you get those by walking up to those big tongue plants, and if you just hang around for a little while, it'll spit one of those seeds out on the ground. And you pick it up, and that's the kibble for these guys. So if I put this kibble in my last slot, and I walk up to this bulb dog, boom! He's our bulb dog. Now, if we check out his stats, the most important stats on these uh, glowing shoulder pets is charge capacity and charge emission range. Now, what this means is charge capacity is the higher this number is, the longer your pet will glow for. And that becomes super important because he provides you light, and also protection from the nameless spawning. Now number two is the uh, charge emission range, and that number means how uh, far out the light goes from your shoulder pet. So those are the two things. Now, a lot of people ask me about this, so here we go. They, to pick him up and put him on your shoulder, you push E. So it says E to pick up, pick him up. Now he's on my shoulder, and what you wanna be able to do is turn him on and off while he's on your shoulder. So what you do is you hold down T. This is on PC uh, default settings or keybinds go to play emote now if you mouse over any of these uh, emotes you can set them to your bracket key so I'm gonna set light to my right bracket so there you go I push right bracket and it lights up like that now if I go back and I push right bracket I can clap him on and off pretty cool now if you want him off your shoulder you push F twice double F and you'll throw him on the ground and one other uh, thing you want to be able to notice is that if you look in his inventory, you can also uh, pet him to toggle him on. You can do that in, inside of the holding E menu, and he does a cute fall over on his face. You can also have him detect enemy players near, which is really cool. You can have him detect max, well, max level wild creatures, and you can also set him to auto activate at full charge. So if you turn that on, when he charges up to full capacity, he'll automatically turn his light on. So you can use him around, and then when he goes out, he'll charge back up and turn himself on by himself. So that's our little first look here at the bulb dog. Now let's go if we see if we can find the next one. And we're back! Okay, this is the second guy we're going to talk about today. This is a Shinehorn. Now these guys you can tame using uh, the Agurvic mushrooms. They like those. Or, again, the plant species Z seeds are the kibble for these guys. So I'm just going to walk up. I'm going to give him a plant species Z seed. There we go. Nailed it. Come here, cutest little goat of all time. Hey. 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 No 
where he's going. Alright, so these guys are super cute. I really like the way these guys look. And they have the same kind of stats. Charge capacity, 358, and the charge emission range. They also have the same options for the detect play enemy players, the max level wild creatures. Turn them on, or turn them off. I like how cute he is. And you can also have him activate on full charge. Now, just like with the bulldog, you can pick him up. Now, with him on my shoulder, I can hit my bracket that I just bound for the bulldog and... It changed for some reason. Okay, so you go back to play emote. I'm going to change light to right bracket. And then... Bop him on. Bop him off. And that's the shine horn. Alright, let's go see if we... Oh, one last thing. This is where I found these guys. These guys spawn right along the edge of the blue zone. Uh, this one... Is at... I found right here. At 43.8, 49.8. But I find these guys all along the edges of the uh, blue zone. Alright, so let's go see if we can find some other ones. Be right back. And we're back! Alright, next we're going to be talking about the glow tails. Now, the glow tails I found in this cave uh, were right by the water by this lake. I'll give you the coordinates. So, 483271. We This is the cave entrance. We go right in here. Uh, it's by this lake around this, um, this m kind of mound of, uh, stone right here that the GE guys actually built their base on. But, uh, so I'm gonna run down into this cave, and this is my rock track here, but he can't come into the cave. You actually have to, uh, crawl into the cave, so, I mean, you could maybe breed some pets and, um, you know, have them follow you in there, but you can't, uh, get, you can't walk any of the natural tames through here. So, I'm not gonna show you how to get to the glow tails right now. Uh, but I will show you when I find one. All right, we'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, we got a little bit into the cave, and I found one. There's one right here. This is a glow tail. Now, these guys, like these, the uh, acerbic mushrooms, the ones that you can use as narco berries, that's what they'll eat for mushrooms. Or, again, the plant species Z seed is the kibble. So, oh, actually, we gotta, let's get rid of our, our goat can hang out over there. So, if we just E plant species Z seed on him, there we go, nailed it. And now we got a glow tail. Let's get them where we can see them. These guys are really cool looking, I think. This one's color is eh, but they come in really all sorts of different colors and they look really awesome. And just like everybody else, they have the the uh, charge capacity and the charge emission. And you can pick them up on your shoulder. And you can clap them on and off. My clap keeps unbinding for some reason, but you can just go back in. Nailed it. Put light back on and... Clap them on and off. And they're really, really cool. Uh, the only place I've found them is in this cave. Although I haven't... They might be in the other caves as well. But I've only seen them in, in this cave so far. But, uh... Yeah, so this is a glow tail. Alright, let's go see the last one. And we're back. We're down here in the super dangerous area. I'm gonna have to do this quick. I have my hazmat suit on. We're... Uh, right here. I'll show you on the map where I found this guy. 462-440. And there he is. There's a feather light. Now, these guys eat the uh, auric mushrooms, I would say they're called. Or again, the plant species Z. Oh, he's getting close. Let's get him. Yeah, we got him. Oh, look at the cool colors on this guy, too. These guys are definitely uh, the coolest ones, I think. Wait, come here, bud. Look how awesome he looks. He's so cool looking. And again, they have the same options. Uh, the charge capacity, the charge emission range. You can set them for detect enemy players, max level wild creatures, turn them on, or turn them off. Or you can set them to uh, act uh, auto-activate at full charge. Oh, what is it? Oh, no. Everything's terrible. Everything's terrible. No. Uh, whistle passive. Everything to me. Come in to me, guys. All right. Let me finish talking about the feather light before you, everybody murders me, please. And then on the same thing, same... Oop. Let me zoom in, please. Alright, game. Okay, apparently you can't zoom in on the drake. Alright. So you can do the same thing though with the lights. If I... My bracket. I hold down T. Go to play emote. It's set as light. Push bracket. On. And off. Alright guys, so that's everything you need to know about shoulder pets and arc aberration. 
I hope this uh, helps you guys out. I've been getting a lot of questions about this. Oh, no. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor. Ah, hit that like button. And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Cheese? Out! Ah, run away!